Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K and I am a crochet designer and now knitter? <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. Maybe. Okay, in this video, I am trying to teach myself how to knit. Yes, I went on whole rants and videos and in my podcast episode about like how knitting this, knitting that, oh my not knit, knitting is too complicated all, 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 for no reason and blah, 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 and how I would eventually knit, you know, but not anytime soon. I guess that was a lie because here I am teaching myself how to knit. I think I talk more about it later in the video. I'm filming this intro like after I filmed this entire video because I forgot I didn't film an intro. So here I am in a future and then you'll see me in the past in three, two, one. Guys, okay. <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to start tonight, but I couldn't I couldn't help myself. Alright, so I uh, I'm kinda teaching myself learning how to knit. Ooh, that was like a slash in between, okay? Teaching myself <laughs> Teaching myself slash learning how to knit. Okay, I should have said slash, but my words were just Oh, oh my gosh, I know I went on a whole rant about knitting and how you know <laughs> seems boring and it's complicated for no reason. <sighs> okay, I was just I watch knitters a lot and I just I, I was really inspired by them mainly Tiffany Lou and Friday Knits. Oh, and Knitting Traditions Inga and Aro. Okay, so quite a few people, but. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I bought knitting needles. They're coming in tomorrow. I was supposed to start this video tomorrow learning, but I just started going on a binge of watching a bunch of tutorials and I was just like, I can't, I need to at least try it. So as you guys just saw, I was knitting. I was using the knit stitch, okay? So I'm using crochet hooks, all right? Because I can't wait. I'm using like 4.25 and 4.5 millimeter hooks. And I'm just using the back end. And I just did a row of knitting. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I just, <laughs> I just knitted a row using the knit stitch. Oh my gosh. So I think this is the wrong side. Unless that's... I don't think there's a wrong or right side with the knit stitch. Oh, I don't know. I Guys, I'm still learning, okay? So I started off with 18 stitches. Let's see if I still have 18. <gasps> I still have 18! <sighs> okay, I've heard that it's easy to drop stitches when knitting and stuff, especially when you're a beginner. So, ah, I still have 18. Da, da, da. So, I just knitted one row. So, yeah. So, do I... So, will this be, like, right here? And I just knit this? I'm following someone named RJ Knits, okay? And he's teaching me how to do the knit stitch. So I will continue to watch his videos and I will update you guys on what I have. Oh! And I will, yeah, I'll just show you guys more of what I'm doing tonight. See if I can get a few more rows out of this. But the knit stitch is so easy. And then I also watched a purling one, which is just like the opposite of knitting. And then I watched stockinette, which is like knitting and purling together. Basically, if I gathered that correctly. But tomorrow is going to be when I like, I'm going to rewatch all of these videos and really learn with actual knitting needles. So 
yeah and excuse me if i say hooks and needles interchangeably i'm a crocheter so yeah i'm probably going to end up using some of the crochet terms on accident harden the slips and yeah so this is what it looks like oh my gosh look at that look at that beautiful all right so let me continue to watch him and then we'll oh see Kalila and Malika are also back here back hair Kalila and Malika are also back here learning how to knit with me so I'm <laughs> like struggling, bro. <laughs> this is our third time starting. <laughs> oh, and this is my first time, by the way. First time casting on. Oh my gosh, I get to say I cast that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. All right, see ya. Right, guys so I'm done with my second row I literally can't tell what rows are here because like first of all this is so messy I'm assuming <laughs> I mean mainly because one I'm a beginner and two I am knitting on crochet hooks <laughs> I have no point I have to like stretch out my stitches and stuff so yeah but I'm getting the hang of this knit stitch oh my gosh I feel like a pro but let's see if I dropped any stitches so I should have 18 I have 18 stitches <laughs> okay all right so second row done I'm good so I'm just gonna keep doing the knit stitch just to get it down get my hands used to it and then to, you know tomorrow should be more of a like yes let's go over this again with actual knitting needles so I want to learn how to knit and purl tonight so that tomorrow I can just get into like it can just be easy for me with actual knitting needles and then I can get into learning stockinette and like the garter stitch and stuff like that. So knitting and purling tonight. Let's get it. You guys, I messed something up and I think I dropped like a bunch of stitches. So I'm starting over. Ah, I'm starting over. I'm on row five right now. Well, I'm on row six. Don't know how to count them. I'm trying to guess how to count them. It's like one, two, three, four, five. I'm guessing it's like crochet where there's like a row and then a row within a row and then you know something like that but i'm still doing the knit stitch okay oof, i thought i was gonna say it wrong still the knit stitch so let's do more i'm gonna do like 10 rows see what that looks like and yeah <laughs> My battery is about to die, but I just had to show you guys my first swatch from knitting. This is so crazy. So this is the knit stitch. How would you hold it like this? I don't know. This is so crazy. Like, oh my gosh. So now I'm going to learn how to purl. I'm not going to film that one just because I want to really focus on it. So I'll show you guys everything tomorrow. So see you tomorrow when I have my knitting needles. Let's just do this. Guys, <laughs> it's the next day. It's the next night. And eee, my hooks, hooks. Gosh, guys, just bear with me. This is going to be a strange transition. My needles are here. So let me let me set this up and show you guys. All right. I'm so excited. First of all, it came with this. It came with like a sizing 
sizing thing to so you can know what your hook sizes are. It came with some little snips and it came with some tapestry or darning needles and it also came with some stitch markers even though I have like a lot of stitch markers already but you know you can never have too many stitch markers. And of course it came with the needles. Ah! Alright so it came in this little pouch right here. Oh so nice. Let's just Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you see this? It comes with 13 needles, I think. 13 sets. Yeah, 13. And it ranges from 2. Point what? 2.75 to 10, which is right here. This is 10, and then this is. 2.75. I will be right around here with the 4, 4.5, 5, you know, these from the pink to like this blue or even, you know, maybe 5.5s, you never know, okay? But here it is. Oh my gosh. So I will, mm, this bottom row will not be touched for a little while. This right here, like this green to here will probably not be touched. Well, I don't know. Some fingering weight might. I don't know. Anyway, so from here, let's just say these one, two, three, four. Last four sets right here. Four to 5.5. Four will definitely be used. 4.5 will definitely be used. And we'll see a five and 5.5. Anyway, it comes with the cable. So I got circular needles because I've heard that those are the best. And I got these are interchangeable because I heard that that's the best as well. I have some singular point knitting needles I think that's how you say it coming in from furrows and I also bought knit Straight picks needles? what'd I say singular point yeah because that's like that was like the name or whatever oh. anyway I have those straight needles coming in and then I also have like some knit picks small cable needles coming in small and anyway anyway I have more needles coming in so I'll show you guys over the course of some videos so it comes with these things and it also comes with these things right here. Maybe that's to like tighten mm -hmm. if you need to. Yeah, so all right, let's get these cables out and see what is up. Uh, this is so cool. Oh, wow, okay. Here we are, this is a small cable right here. Does this say like the inches? I don't think so. Anyway, this is a small cable and then we have oh gosh I don't want to rip it rip it rip it there you go okay and then we have another cable it is longer and yeah still no size on it all right, and then we have this one. This one looks like it's the longest. Ooh, that's a... <laughs> this is very nice. Oh yeah, I'll be using this a lot. It comes pretty... with 11.7 oh, Okay. And then we have this one right here. So this one is the shortest. And then I think it's this one. And then we have this one, yeah, this one's longer, and then we have this one right here, which is the longest, so. Four different sizes, which is really cool, which is really great, oh my gosh. Awesome! Alright, so what will I start with tonight? I'm just gonna be doing swatches tonight, so I won't need that much. I don't think so. I might use this. Hmm. No, I might use the second to... Second smallest, ha, huh. this one. I'll use this one right here, ah. So let's see how to screw on some needles. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna be mm, four. I think we're gonna start with four. So right here, that's the four millimeter, I was gonna say hooks, oh gosh. Four millimeter needles. Right here, this course. This is so cool. I've been waiting all day for these. All right, so I'm pretty sure I just, uh, 
and just you know righty tighty all right <laughs> stop it this is so cool oh my gosh first of all i love the color of these cords red so perfect okay oops Here we go, you guys. Look at this. I know, it, seem, it may seem like nothing to you guys who like have been knitting forever or like kind of knits, but this is insane. I never thought that I would hold knitting needles and like circular knitting needles in my hands so soon. Like, am I supposed to have this cer a certain way or does it matter? Doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Working, huh? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna start knitting this is so crazy so like you sorry like you guys have already seen i taught myself all of these stitches last night because i couldn't wait i taught myself on the back ends of crochet hooks and now i have this is still so cool oh my gosh knit with k <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me stop. Anyway, I learned the stitches last night. Now it's time to actually do them on actual knitting needles and see how I fit, you know? All right, let's just let's just start. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Oh, do I remember how to do a knit stitch? I've been watching knitting videos all day. I better know, I better remember. Okay, let's get it. All right, so I have my yarn right here. We are going to make a slip knot, oh yeah. All right, a slip knot. I have my needles right here. Just gonna put this on a needle. Oh God, oh shoot, okay. I don't know why I'm acting like this thing's gonna catch fire or something. All right, guys, here we go. And we are going to do, wait, I can't do anything yet. I haven't cast it on anything. This is so unlike <laughs> crochet. <laughs> I was gonna do this and then do what? Okay, all right, let's cast on. I don't even know how many stitches. Oh gosh. Let's just do 10. Okay, I have 10 stitches on my hook. <laughs> ah, on my needle. <laughs> I have 10 stitches on my needle. I'm gonna make sure, you know, that this part is in the middle, you know? We don't want anything messing up. All right, all right. And all right, let's 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 just make sure that's tight. All right. Ah, uh, this is so weird, okay. And then we're gonna flip it, because they say we flip. All right, and then we're going to push these up because I need some of these up. And then we're going to go in a back. Oh, shoot. I can't. Hold on, my battery's dying. Okay. Okay, so I have tight tension, like super tight tension with crochet. And I've learned that you can't be too tight with knitting. Okay, so knit stitch. We're going to go behind here okay put the right hook behind there we're going to wrap around here and then we're going to yeet that right off and put it right here okay i did it let's do it again this this and this oh yeah oh yeah okay I'm getting the hang of it. Let's not go too fast. I'm over here thinking I'm a pro already. You don't even have your tension right. Okay, this right here, this here. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's lift some of this up right here. Let's go on the back. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, yeah. And let's just boop, boop. Okay, all right. Oh, can you guys even see? I don't even know if you guys can see my bed. Okay, boom. Boom, let's see. Let's count these stitches. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom! Okay, first row. A little wonky, but you know we're doing it. We are doing it. Oh my gosh, let's get it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this for a bunch of rows, get comfortable with it, figure out my tension, you know, just uh, 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 and then I'll show you guys my swatches, and then I'll make sure to tell you guys when I switch two different stitches. Okay, and I have to remember, I'm casting on stitches. Okay, I'm casting on stitches. All right, so I have a cute little swatch right here. I think I'm just gonna stop this right here. I'm gonna bind off and I learned binding off. So you just, you like knit two stitches to the other side. So knit two stitches. Uh, and then you're gonna take the one in the back and then, uh, Put it over the front stitch and boom and then you make sure another one is on there and you just keep doing it until you bind off okay boom swatch I'm gonna do stockinette next and apparently that's the one that gets you those cool V's. So I'm gonna cast on more stitches just so I can have a bigger swatch. I don't know how many, like 20, uh -huh. I don't know, maybe 15. Yeah, maybe 15. But this is so cool. And so stretchy. Guys, stocking that right here. Look at that beautiful, beautiful V. Well, those beautiful Vs. Stocking that. It curls apparently. So I know I'm doing it right. So let's just keep doing it until it's a nice big swatch. Oh, my cat just me out at the door. Okay. Yep. I'll see you guys when I'm done with the swatch and then I'll do the rib stitch. Yeah. Guys, I'm so sad because I dropped a stitch. Oh God, how do you fix a drop stitch? How do I go all the way back there? Like, it seems impossible, but I'm just loving that it's coming out the way I want it to come out, which means I'm doing it the right way. And it's so weird because like, I literally just learned how to knit last night. I'm probably gonna start an actual project tomorrow. We shall see. I'm gonna do this ribbing. This I'm gonna just. I'm not even gonna bind this off because I'm very sad that I dropped the stitch. So the whole thing has to go. I'm gonna do the rib stitch, which is knit a stitch, purl a stitch, knit a stitch, purl a stitch. I haven't done that yet. So like I did knitting and purling and stocking it like last night, but I haven't done any rib stitch swatches. So I'll do that and then I'll end out this video. And then start another one with me actually starting a project. Okay, I just finished the uh, row. This is how it turned out. I'm not sure. Like, it's like I know what it's supposed to look like, but I don't know what it's supposed to look like. And I think it's supposed to look all like crunchy looking and stuff, but 
I'm gonna continue to do this and see why oh this is really close and just see like how it turns out probably not gonna do it for long I'm like so ready to start a project now because I learned by actually doing projects like now that I know the like fundamentals and stuff like that like I have to I can't just do little things here and there I have to actually do a project so that I can put the stitches how do I explain it? So I can actually understand what's going on. Yeah. Right, guys here's my little swatch nope rib stitch I don't even remember what side is what I don't even know <laughs> if this even looks right but you know what <laughs> that's okay because I will start a project tomorrow and figure out all the kinks and everything that I need to do now that I know how to at least knit these stitches so that is me teaching myself how to knit i didn't show you guys any videos because i honestly watched so many videos like it would be too many to link like i literally researched out the wazoo i just wanted you guys to see me actually like trying to knit especially using circular needles and you're really gonna see me knitting in this next knit video i'm not sure when it will be up but i'm going to start on a project tomorrow i'm going to be following a tutorial and of course i'll tell you guys more about that in that video so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up let me know down below if you guys knit and please give me any tips and tricks for knitting the one thing that i don't really need to know is like oh continentals easier la, la, la. i'm gonna stick with my english style knitting so that's not gonna change at all but anything else i welcome it all if you guys want to see more videos like this from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you whenever i post another video and i'll see you guys in my next one